Mel Gibson plays Santa Claus and he doesn't even need a fake beard, I'm in. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and the prize for 2020's most outlandish movie premise probably goes to Fat Man. Mel Gibson plays none other than Santa Claus himself who gets tracked down by a hitman played by Walton Goggins that was hired by a spoiled little brat who only got a piece of coal for Christmas. With a synopsis like this, one presumably expects a very crazy or silly take on the Christmas season. But Fat Man actually takes itself very seriously. It qualifies as a dark, satirical comedy, but it's very low-key and tries to be as grounded as possible. It was written and directed by Ashom and Ian Elms, who follow a little bit in the footsteps of the Coen brothers and movies like Fargo. But what you shouldn't expect, especially after the trailer, and of course I'm also a bit complicit since I used some of it for my review introduction, what you shouldn't expect is a rousing action comedy. A movie in which Mel Gibson plays a Santa on a killing spree. Because that's really not what Fat Man feels like. There's actually only one real action scene in it and that's the finale. But overall this is a very understated low-key affair and a lot of things are happening in the off. It depicts a world in which Santa is very real and there exist elves who build all his toys and eat nothing but sweets and sugar. There's definitely a little wing-wing to aspects like that, but at the same time it's not really addressed with any kind of wonder. And we also don't get to see the magical parts of Santa's work. He does deliver all the presents to all the nice children, but most of it happens in the off. Fat Man much more portrays him as this down-to-earth, hard-edged working-class guy and as expected the biggest reason to watch this film is Mel Gibson's earnest performance as Kris Kringle. Right from the beginning we know that his best days are in the past. He is tired and a bit world-weary because it seems the world has gotten worse over the years. There are less and less nice children who deserve his presence and because of that he and his wife Ruth, played by Marianne Jean-Baptiste, have a hard time to keep things running. At the same time the whole world benefits from Christmas and makes billions of dollars with the holiday. So I think there's definitely this theme of capitalism that thrives on the aching back of the working class in there. You also have this duality of Chris Kringle who is mourning the loss of moral values. In one scene he reminds a guy in a bar about his family back at home and on the other side our antagonists who have no real values at all and only use their power to get what they want for themselves. Walton Goggins plays this self-made hitman who seems to compensate for the lack of compassion in his childhood. In his very cold, sterile home he is collecting toys from Santa's workshop. Toys that he never got as a child and he has no remorse at all, killing other people for it. We also have this little boy Billy, played by Chance Hurstfield, who looks like a small version of Ben Shapiro. He feels entitled to always getting whatever he wants. There's no sight of his parents at all, just all the service personnel he can command and his grandmother whose money he uses for himself. But for the duel between Gibson and Goggins you need some patience. With a little bit over 90 minutes Fat Man has a fitting runtime, but it's not a cat and mouse game. It's more like these two storylines that are happening separated from each other. On one side we have the Hitman who is by the way only credited as the skinny man who is trying to find Santa. And while it's always nice to see the great Walton Goggins, the evil deeds of this character do become a bit repetitive and I didn't find it as funny or memorable as it maybe wants to be. And on the other side we have Kringle who is engaged in this new deal with the US military to keep his operation going. Unfortunately I didn't find this whole military side plot all that interesting or poignant. You might take it as a jibe against the fact that the US spends such a silly amount of money on the military while other branches of life suffer, but it also comes across as just a way to have some action movie obstacles for the hitman. Interestingly enough though the original idea and first drafts of the movie date back more than 10 years and originally the movie was much more about the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And in that regard the whole military angle seems much more relevant. Now as I stated in the beginning Fat Man isn't delivering much as an action comedy. It plays more like a low-key satirical Christmas western with Santa as this damaged lonely cowboy in a hostile world. And the finale also plays more like a classic western standoff. 
Overall, I think the movie could have been more exciting and it lags a little bit behind its weird but promising premise. Unfortunately, the trailer gives away pretty much all of the great moments and I guess the budget must have also been rather limited. Still, it has a decent atmosphere to it and also some Christmas tunes here and there. And the main reason to watch it is to see Mel Gibson in this role. Now, of course I know that he is a very problematic public figure and I can totally understand everybody who has decided not to support him any longer. I think when it comes to the discussion of separating the art from the artist, it's up to everybody to come to his own conclusions and decisions. And I think it's also a case by case thing and it's not good to throw everybody into the same category. When it comes to acting and also directing, Gibson has always been one of my favorites and I can't deny that I still enjoy seeing him commit to roles like this. Unlike other action actors from the past, he never phones it in and you can feel that he still has a lot of passion and he's committed to the roles he takes. And even though I wish there was more for him to do in Fat Man, I still enjoyed his portrayal as this broken, but not yet lost, hardworking Santa Claus. So in German I'd say, Fat Man is nicht wirklich die brutale, dreckige Actionkomödie, die man sich vielleicht erwartet. Als gedämpfter, langsamer und satirischer Weihnachtswestern kann man sich ihn aber schon anschauen. I give Fat Man 6 out of 10. It's more like 6.1, but I don't do that. The fat man's got his eye on you, kid. Hey, whoa! Oh, that's Donner. Lucky it wasn't Blitzer should tear your package clean off. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Fat Man. And also let me know what is your favorite performance by Mel Gibson. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And you can also become a member of the channel and get exclusive rewards and even pick a movie directly for us to review. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell. Mm -hmm.